This is the CAD rendering that my client approved right before I began making her custom ring. It features my signature seamless halo, which is designed to minimize the gap between the halo and the center diamond. So all you see is sparkle. And this is actually a double edge halo, which means there are diamonds on top and the side. The 50 ideal cut diamonds on the entire halo have been color matched to her G color three carat natural center diamond to ensure maximum seamless brilliance. And the halo is flanked by two proportional pair cut color matched diamonds and the result is almost as if a halo ring and a three stone ring had a baby. I designed the shape of the shank to start out knife edge at the top then taper into a half round shank and doing this visually maximizes the appearance of the diamonds. It's this subtle trick for the eye but it really does make a difference. And when it comes to the width it's incredibly important to keep in mind proportion because if this shank were made too thick it would compete with the size of the diamonds and make everything appear bulky which would be the opposite of the effect we're going for. I wanted to achieve a graceful feminine design for her that also has incredible wow factor. Another feature you'll notice are my sleek signature claw prongs. I hand sculpt these in order to achieve this look, so it takes longer than the traditional round prongs which you commonly see on rings, but the result really takes the ring to a whole new level. I mean, the goal is to mimic the triangular shape of the facets on the diamond so everything is harmonious and your eye flows in line with the facets of the diamond so your eye focuses only on sparkle rather than metal. Sending your ring to someone who is out of the state is very scary. I checked your YouTube out, went to your website, everything was legit. You never know what to expect because even with jewelers that are local, you do not get this type of customer care. Recently at work, I had a coworker and she obviously has seen my original ring and she knew that, you know, you were working on the ring and I did not tell her I had gotten the ring back yet. And she just saw it and was like, wow, it was a beautiful stone before, but your ring is breathtaking and it has the wow factor for sure, which I know you're like excellent at what you do, but there was a smidge of doubt like, oh, maybe she can't bring my idea to life. But then when I saw the rendering, I was like, oh my gosh, she was able to get the ring exactly the way I had envisioned. And I know you were working with two different images that I had sent you to make it mine. So I was really just blown away with the fact that you were able to bring that vision to life. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, the CAD rendering goes through several stages before you even get to see it. So I'm laying everything out first. And but really, that's just a matter of measurements and you're just laying things out. But then it starts to really get refined and working with my team back and forth to just make sure it's it's in harmony because, yeah, you can have some side stones, you can have a halo, you can have a center stone. But once you bring it together, it can sometimes just look like a mismatch. You know, it's just it doesn't flow. Yes. So that's where proportion comes into play and making sure things are color matched and just setting those diamonds in a way that everything feels like it's not too thick, it's not overpowering, nothing's too wide, everything just flows. So that's one of the beautiful things about collaboration with my clients is I get to bring your vision to life, but also not just slap some pieces together, but actually bring the design aesthetic too, as well to really create this harmonious design. As a teacher, my ring, the original ring in the setting was higher than what I liked because it would always hit the counters and just nick everything. And actually at some point I had barely tapped my ring on the side of a shopping cart and the diamond fell out. So as you can imagine, having a three carat diamond just fall out, they, oh, you know, yeah. that was a fear that I had going forward. And so I wanted a design that would be just not set up as high, but also keep the center stone more secure. Yeah, the low profile, it does make it more practical. That being said, it's not buried in to the ring where you feel like it doesn't have this center stage and this, you know, regal, elegant feeling. So it's definitely not flat on your finger, but it is low profile enough where it's not going to be catching and snagging on everything. Yes. And you did an excellent job with, like you said, it has dimension, but it's also practical for what I do for a living. I know that I wouldn't have to worry about it getting damaged because of the way that you made it just for me. 
and my lifestyle. My students are like, Miss Kay, I love your ring. And I was like, well, one day, you know, this, you could have a ring, a custom ring. And, you know, they'll ask the process. And we've actually talked about the science of diamonds and clarity and cut and things like that. Just because I figured, hey, they're asking about my ring. Yeah. I can go ahead and tie that into it. So yeah, absolutely. That. that is such a fascinating conversation because even getting into the geology of it versus the technology of lab diamonds and your diamond is natural. So just the interesting facts about yes. the difference and what's possible now and that's a really good educational talking point thank you i love my ring it was just so much fun working on your ring i love that yes. it was a design that i'd never made before and i've never been asked to make before so i i really love that and it's exciting for me because it keeps things fresh and interesting so thank you for that yes and if you're looking for your very own custom ring, feel free to reach out to the studio at vanessanicole.com. I would love to learn more about what you're looking to create and I would absolutely love to exceed your expectations with it. And if you liked this video, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel since that's gonna tell YouTube that this is something that people should watch if they're planning to get a custom diamond ring. This channel honors meaningful relationships and creativity and just the appreciation of fine craftsmanship. And by watching these videos here, you're gonna surround yourself with these uplifting values that encourage excellence. So if those ideals resonate with you, definitely subscribe and leave a comment below saying hi. And in the meantime, I'm wishing you a beautiful rest of your day. Now I'm gonna keep looking at this gorgeous diamond because I just can't stop. <laughs> Bye.